Notice of revocation and termination of easement of November 13th, 2020, by the Governor of Michigan and the Michigan Department of Natural Resources, concerned citizens of Michigan direct Enbridge, a foreign oil company, to immediately abandon operating Line 5 pipelines in the Straits of Mackinac. The easement is being revoked for violation of the public trust doctrine and is being terminated based on Enbridge's long standing, persistent, and incurable violations of the easement's conditions and standard of due care and violations of the public trust doctrine. On behalf of concerned citizens of Michigan, oil and water don't mix. So, we gather here today because 181 days ago, Governor Whitmer told Enbridge they had 180 days to shut down their pipeline. If any of us tried to profit over a million dollars a day by breaking the law, we'd be behind bars. Yet here we are still operating because corporate, because a giant oil corporation like Enbridge thinks they have every right to kill our planet, violate treaty rights, and endanger the Great Lakes, even if they're doing so illegally. So we're here to tell them enough is enough. We're here to solidarity with the Bay Mills Indian community who has banished Enbridge from all the scenic, from all the scenic territory. We're here today in solidarity with our allies in Minnesota and elsewhere across the country who are working to protect our planet and working to protect our water. And we're here today to tell Enbridge enough is enough it's time to pack up and go home. They're going to wait to get a court order. We know the court order is going to come. So it's time for Enbridge to pack up and go home today. Yeah. We have a lot of history of people being taken. Everything from the Osage where they went for the women first. They went for the women first and they killed whole families over oil. Down to Ecuador, where they killed tribes and they killed people. Up to our line three, where we heard recently they've been taking our women. And we all know about what's going on in Canada. 
We all know what's been going on with these man camps. And we're here to tell you it's got to stop. No more sisters stolen. Historically, historically, we've all been taken. They come for us in ways that are sneaky. Sometimes they come with love. Sometimes they try to marry us. Sometimes, like our dear sister Red Fawn found out, they come undercover as boyfriends. And they, and they come to our hearts and they try to rip it out from underneath us. And then those who are around the pipelines think that we're free from the taking. How many of you know somebody who's missing or murdered right now? Look at that. That's too many people. More than That's one. too many people. Wow. More than one. More than one. More than one. More than one. I, I, have, I can't right even there. count anymore. Um, so what we're here to say is that it's enough. You've taken our people for too long. You've taken our women for too long. Yeah. Yeah. They know that we're the heart and the soul of our nation. That's right. That's right. Stacy, you're uh, our coordinator at LTDB. Give it up for her, please. Love you, Stacy. So we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on currently. Ani bosu gigong ka ko English na ka. Stacy ko ando da mo ang kanasto mo dal ko. Stacey Adelgishek, I'm the lead survivor outreach specialist for Little Trevor's Baby Amps Human Services. I'm also the board president of Unite Three Fires Against Violence, the BBSA Coalition for Michigan. We help all victims of crime, domestic violence, sexual assault, stalking, it's all related. Like Holly said, they become our intimate partners. They manipulate us, they rape us. They rape our land. We're not taking it anymore. No man camps here. No. No. It hurts my heart. I'm a survivor and I know many of you are. This is not happening anymore. Too many of our women are missing and murdered. And our families are hurt. 